Hello, this is the third video in the series of me making a platform game in Python using Pygame. And in this video, I'm going to create uh, a number of platforms in the game. So I'm going to create some platforms and draw them to the screen. And just to check that you're at the same point as I am, if you're following along, um, If I run so far, you'll see that I've got um, a game window um, that I created in the first video, and then um, a player image that I'm drawing um, towards the center of my game screen. So this video, I'm going to create some platforms and I'm going to start by creating the platforms towards the top of my code um, before the game loop. So I want to create them once before the game loop and then I'm going to draw them here um, as part of this draw, draw part of the game loop. So I'll create them just here. So what I'm going to do, I think, is um, I'm just going to go into the Pygame documentation and use um, something that's built into Pygame, which is um, rectangles. Um, so I can create rectangles and then draw them to Pygame um, quite easily. So if you wanted to have a look at the documentation, um, there's lots of stuff about rectangles just here. Um, it shows you how to create them and then how to draw them. And the way that I'm going to create a rectangle is to um, type pygame.rectangle and sorry, capital R, and in brackets I'm going to pass um, four numbers. So them numbers are the first two of the x and y coordinates, so 0, 0 would be the top left of the screen, and the next two are the width and height of the rectangle. So um, let me choose, so I'll create a, a rectangle that's 100 in from the left, 300 from the top, and then I'm going to make it 400 pixels wide and just 50 high. So it's a long, narrow platform, and hopefully it's towards the center, um, towards the bottom center of the, um, of the window. So I created the rectangle there. Um, and I need to give that a name, so I'm just going to call that platform. So platform is the name given to that rectangle. And then in my game loop, um, I'm going to add some comments here. So this is the background. This is the player. And this is to display the screen or present screen. And what I think I'm going to do is draw the platform after the background but before the player. So I'm going to draw some platforms there. Um, and the reason I've used a rectangle, so I've used pygame.rect is because um, it's quite easy to draw rectangles by just calling um, pygame.draw.rectangle, like that. And all I need to pass into this uh, draw rectangle function is um, the screen to draw it to. Um, and my screen is just called screen. So 
So I'll type that there. Um, a color, which I'll decide on in a minute. And then the rectangle to draw, which I've just called platform, which is the name of the rectangle just here. Um, so this color, um, what I'm actually going to do, I think, is I'm going to create the, um, let me decide on a color first. Um, I've got this um, Google color picker, which I think I showed in the previous video. And um, I'm just going to um, move around until I've found a color that I like. So maybe something like that. So that's 209. 20625. So I'll just copy that. Um, and what was that like a mustardy yellow colour? So what I might do is just type just pasting those numbers in. And I'm just calling that colour mustard. And then down here, I can just use that color. So if I save that and run my code again, you should see that I've got one mustard color platform that's drawn um, towards the middle bottom. So you can see um, it's 100 in from the left, 300 from the top. So that's what this 100, 300 is. And then it's 400 long, so quite a long platform, and only 50 high. So there it is. And that platform, I'm going to draw um, three, I think. So I'm going to draw one along the middle, and I'm going to draw a left and right platform as well. So I might call this one... Um, middle and then left and then right so I'll call this um, so I could call that like middle platform left platform and right platform. And I'll just copy and paste the code to create the rectangles and just take the numbers out and change them. So the left hand one, um, let's make it, um, I'm going to make them 50 by 50, the left and right ones. 50 by 50, that's the width and the height. And then the X and Y positions. So if I want this left, left platform to be just at the left-hand side of the middle platform, I'm going to make it 100 also. So the same X as the middle platform. But instead of 300 down, I'm going to make it 250 from the top. And for the other side... Um, so if this is 100 from the left and is 400, it actually finishes 500 from the left. So if I make this 450 and the same 250 and then 5050, that should be um, either side of the middle platform on either end. So now that I've got three platforms, what I want to do is I want to draw those three platforms in turn. So if I copy this code here, paste twice, and I've got middle it's called left platform isn't it? So left platform middle platform and then right platform so I've got three platforms, um, created three platforms and then drawn them. So let's try that.
So again, I'm just going to save and run. And you'll see that I've got um, these two, because they're 50 by 50, they're almost uh, cubes, squares on the left and right. And then this long platform in the middle. So that looks like it's working. Um, the thing that I don't like about this is that I'm having to create each platform and then draw each platform separately, which isn't too bad with three platforms. But if I had a level with 40 or 50 platforms, that's going to, um, that's going to become quite difficult and there's going to be lots of code there. So I think what I'm going to do instead of creating them separately is I think I'm going to create a list called platforms. And the list is just uh, square brackets. And I'm going to grab that first rectangle, put it there. So I'll put a comma between items in a list. I've got the second platform, a comma, and then the third platform. And I don't need a comma after the last item in a list. I just put a comma between items. So after the first and second. And I do still want my comments to remind me that that's the middle platform. That's the left platform. And that's the right platform. And I can get rid of this. So I've just got a list of three platforms. And you'll notice as well that I don't need a name. I don't need a variable name for each of these because they're in a list. Um, what I can do when I'm drawing is just to loop through each item in the list. So what's good about this code now is I can just add lots more platforms if I wanted to quite easily. And then instead of drawing each platform separately now, what I can do is I can say for each platform in the list of platforms and then I can draw that platform so I can get rid of this now. So instead of drawing each platform separately, all I'm saying is go through the platforms list. So that's this list here, and there's three platforms. So take each platform in turn, call it P, and then I just want to call Pi Game Draw Rectangle, draw it to the screen in the mustard color, and I want to draw P. So it's going to go through each platform in turn. And so if I had a list here of um, 40 or 50 platforms, this same code will draw each platform in that list. So let's just test that. So the screen looks exactly the same as before with the three, three platforms. So it's these three platforms in the list. Um, but the code to draw each platform is now much much simpler. And what it does mean is that if I wanted to add a fourth platform somewhere, I could just type pygame.rect again, and I could do 0, 0, 100, 50, something like that. Notice how I've had to put a comma, but I've now got a fourth rectangle, and then I can just save and run that, and I haven't got to change the code to draw because it's going to go through each platform in the list and it will just go through four platforms now instead of three. So I should be able to run and I've got my fourth platform at the top left. So zero, zero, top left and then it's 100 by 50. So I'm going to take that out and get rid of that comma as well. And just test that again. There we go. So that's all I'm going to do, I think, in this video. Um, the reason I made the left and right bits 
here is because I think in the next video I'm going to add horizontal movement. So allowing the player to press the left and right arrow keys to move left and right. And I might make it so that you also have to check um, so that the player can't move past platforms that exist. So trying to get the player to move towards or between these left and right platforms but not go past them. So I think I'll do that in the next video.